So this is um this is a 3D printed tank track assembly. Um it looks like it's moving really fast in the video. It's not moving super fast. Um you can see well eh, moving kind of fast. Um Anyway, you can see I'm doing direct drive here. I got a nice uh, kind of pancake brushless motor from Hobby King. Um, and then a, a eight millimeter bearing there, just kind of tacked in. It's, this isn't really a, in any bit a final assembly at all. This is all kind of proof of concept mechanics here. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll stop it in a minute. This is the brushless motor driver that I'm working on. This will put up to one kilowatt into a board. Uh, you know, in, in theory, anyway, as far as the design is concerned, right now I'm doing a lot less. Um, I'll stop it for a minute. Um, yeah, so these are all 3D printed tank links. You can see they hold together pretty well. Um, there's no no metal in there that they seem strong. Um, it'll be interesting to see how durable this design is. You know, especially if you get a rock wedged in between a tooth. You know, what what where's it going to give? Um, but uh, anyway, this is kind of, you know, doing some development on making a, um, a brushless motor controller for robotics. So this is open source. This is on my GitHub right now, using Flutter as the drive electron, uh, the controller for it. Um, <clears throat> but ultimately, I'm going to take the CPU that's in Flutter and mount it directly onto a PCB with the rest of this motor controller stuff. So you'll have a standalone USB-driven open source brushless motor driver. Um, and then this driver also has some inputs for position sensors. In fact, this is a, um, a position sensor right here. And then you can put a, a magnet on this shaft, mount the position sensor behind it, and then you can do fine positioning control servoing of a brushless motor like this one. Um, so yeah, trying to make an open source robotics construction kit. And this is a, it's kind of a milestone. This is the first time I got a nice a motor spinning nicely. Um, and this is also the first time I've motorized the tank tracks. So yeah, thanks for watching.